Our next one in the line will be on how to slice a 3D object. Now first we have to create the 3D object. So by now you know if you click on bar design and you click on create a body, create a sketch, create choose XY plane, say OK. And we are just going to make a small square and we will say OK and we use padding. So I'm going to make it about 30 millimeters high and we just bring it into the middle of the screen. Now to cut this cube into a half and say for example you decided that you want the two sides side by side or this cube into two pieces side by side or it's too big you want to cut it in half instead of redesigning it you can just slice it. So for now I'm going to click on All right, now I have my 3D object. So we need to create a plane. So we're going to click on part. And in this toolbar, you will find the one that says creation of a parametrized geometric uh, primitive. If you click on that, it will open up on the combo view on a plane that you can create. So it depends on how big your cube is. Let's just check. I have a 30 millimeter cube. Um, it might be a little bit too small. So I am going to change this to 40 millimeters. My cube is quite big. Then you can just delete the previous one. And you say close. Right click on plane, say transform. It will open up the X, Y, and Z axis. And you can move the plane by clicking on the arrows to cut through your object. So it depends on where you want your object to cut, how big you want it to be. So just for now, let's put it almost into the middle way. And you say OK. Click on body. And because the part is still open, you have chosen the part in the workbench, you will find in the menu bar there is part. Click on part and say convert to solid. Uh, click on control body and plane and you click on part split slice apart now you have your two different pieces how do I change it to be opposite so immediately remember there was body and plane now it is connected there in exploded slice so you open it up and there's a slice zero and a slice one and when you click or highlight it on over it on you will see which one is where. So for now I'm just going to choose one and right click transform. We want to move it out and we want to move it up. We want to move it a little bit more forward. So if you turn it around, okay this one is not totally in half so you can see we have cut it in two pieces. Click on OK, it is there. You can click on one and delete it, then you have the only one left. Or you can even click on one, use your arrow designs over there. Oops, not there. You can click on one and how did I rotate it? Transform and you can move it back, move it forward on the arrows there, on the circles the balls you can even put it in the opposite direction this way you can play around and you can even later on join it again together but this is how you cut and slice and change the direction of your project